Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tash, and today I have a gorgeous Christmas look just for you. So sit tight, get a popcorn, get a snack or something, get a drink, champagne, water, whatever floats your boat, and let's head right into this glam. Come on. Starting out the base for the makeup is your foundation. Of course, you're going to wash your face and have a clean base and prime it. And then you're going to apply your foundation. My foundation is Beautiful Bronze Drugstore. Now I'm going in my 24 hour long wear Pro Concealer by MAC. And I'm just going to go into my Wakanda Tribal Feel. And guys, how do you feel about the Wakanda movie? Are you on the spectrum that you prefer this new one? Are you on team the first original wakanda or what what do you think list your thoughts and views down below i definitely enjoyed it i recommend it's a definite watch and i just love the message behind it you know i just don't watch things to watch it like it has to have a message and i love it and in this day and age of technology where everything is so daunting and just at the click of a f button you can see something you know just mind-blowing in a bad way you know it's good to have uplifting moments like these so i am just going with my beauty blender and i'm gonna blend 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 away and this time this i think this is the longest process for me to so the base of blending as well as you know you know sometimes yeah for me yeah contouring is the longest part for me because you have to really make sure that the colors and shades blend seamlessly so for those beginners out there have grace be patient and you can do it and you know last every year i have a theme for my year that is to come and this theme for 2022 was intentional being intentional and in doing whatever you're doing so if you are a teacher be intentional in being a teacher if you're a lawyer a doctor if you want to start your own business become an entrepreneur if you want to venture out into a new career pathway if you want to travel whatever it is be intentional and intentional means just done on purpose whatever you do do it with purpose and this there's theme you know if you want to join in it's competence and i've come to this realization like if i'm doing what i need to do but sometimes you get discouraged sometimes you know when you stop you have breaks you have alts like life throws you whirlwinds and you know in sometimes you know you just need to equip yourself with you know the sustainability the the things that's going to help to keep you in that pathway to your goals and with competence it's the ability to do something successfully or effectively so you know intentional is just falling into my competence here coming and i just don't i'm not just starting to become competent next year i'm starting now like i just it just comes to me you know naturally where i think of a, um what i want to do to enrich my life and just cause me to be more of a better person and these are the things that i do on a you know a daily basis like for example, you're doing a task at, on your 9 to 5 job, right? There are things that you have to do that requires multiple ways of thinking or behaving that matter for that performance of that task, right? So if I'm a teacher, you know, and then, you know, I, I'm not effective in doing what I'm doing. Like, I'm not qualified for the job. I'm not going to help the children or you know be able to last in that field so in order for me to become you know effective i have to establish qualities like creativity quality of patience quality of good clear communication like quality of empathy and etc 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 so this year is the year of like just looking at myself and seeing what areas of my life based on the goals that i have that i need to mold myself in more i love spaniel vocabulary you know learning a skill you know learning to do your makeup 
you know simple stuff simple stuff so this is the word for 2023 so let me see you know what other videos i have in store like i'm still brainstorming so let me see and i'm going to be coming up with a lot more upliftment and you know just grander quality of course for you guys so stick tight and i have the whole works coming so on the eyes it's a very classic sultry look i made it so easy that anybody can do it and this is not a look often seen for Christmas time. Christmas is all about the glam and the glitz and the big and the bold. However, I wanted to show you that, you know, like simple blends and simple techniques can bring out just a gorgeous look regardless of who you are or what you do. Like you can do this. So I just went in with a dark brown shade tapped on with my finger a white shadow and I just diffused that with a black and voila I have a high look that is gorgeous that is still festive and you know the I think the most challenging part for me was putting on my lashes and getting my liner um to cooperate with me of course because sometimes when you're not doing makeup for a very long time like I guess you'd have to like retrain yourself and this is what has been happening to me however like I'm still passionate and I'm still like all constantly learning and I just love the way this makeup turned out so if you look at my line my lash line like the the lash covered like my previous line that I draw for my liquid liner so I'm just going in back and touching it up and we have moments like this okay like makeup is not always like the perfect just flawless transition that we see on social media or you know when you're watching your YouTube like I want to show you these parts this glimpse and itsy bitsy parts because if you should see everything this video is going to be like 30 minutes long but however like you know as a beginner you need that extra boost and you know to see somebody that is just open and authentic with you and i'm your girl okay so tune in for more of these open and honest looks as well as conversations and i definitely had to go in with a highlight I didn't, you know, I didn't really put any on my nose because I really wanted it to, to be like just a sultry glam. You could if you want. I'm going with Chestnut from MAC uh, for my lip liner pencil. And I'm going to use a Avon, a very beautiful pink shade. However, I doubt that you're going to be able to find this exact brand because I bought this a very long time ago. And mm, it's old, so you, will, I doubt you will see this. But you can definitely get shades close to it or even you can spurs it up if you want to go bolder with a red or a deeper popping pink like go for it i love to see people just embracing their craft and just loving on themselves so do you boo but this is the look i went for because i don't often see this look and i love to be the one that's outside the box in the sense that i am not always following the trends and what everybody else is doing i know that that's the routine for social media but i'm not one of those people and i guess that's why i'm on this platform to show you that you know like you can see the lens through somebody else's eyes and i know that there are so many people out there that's like me and call me conservative call me whatever but you know at the end of the day like i try to this is me i'm authentic i'm just being myself and i try to embrace the fact that everybody don't want that bold dramatic look for christmas everybody don't want that bold lip everybody don't like that shade and you know this is just one of the options that you can do so this is what the look turned out to be and i got this top from sheen and i wanted to do the slow-mo guys because i think it's so gorgeous i'm wearing sweats of course however i think it's such a gorgeous look and i had my pearl earrings from city trend city trend sponsor your girl like in the name of jesus come through for me because i love 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 your products my earrings
So this is the finished glam for my Christmas look. It's very dainty and classy and you know definitely buildable. So until next time, have a merry and bright Christmas and I'll see you guys back here very soon.